All right, good evening, good morning, whatever time it is where you're watching this, my friends. And welcome to the, the first of the new, what I'm calling a thought across your bow. That's catchy, right? Uh, this, this used to be called the AM icebreaker. You know, I've had a lot of requests from people to do daily or, you know, semi or, you know, per weekly content because I guess people liked all that stuff. And for some reason, people like listening to me talk. So happy to do it. And, you know, like I said, I'm using No Coffee, No Carb November as kind of a a bookend to sort of try and do new things and get some things back off, you know, off the ground. And this is one of the things I wanted to fire back up. And um, the, uh, the thought I wanted to put across you about today is, is interesting. It's, uh, I actually thought about this as I was kind of going through some stuff tonight. I'm actually right now uninstalling and reinstalling some new software and some old software. You know, I had, um, I, I bought a, a humble bundle of a bunch of photo editing and kind of digital sort of, you know, digital photo tools, things like, you know, Paint Shop Pro and, you know, video suite, basically alternatives to the Adobe suite, which I've been using for a long time. And I was kind of like, well, I don't know if I want to keep paying these guys 50 bucks a month. But uh, as tends to happen with, um, you know, anytime I try and replace standard software with, you know, alternatives or free things, um, there's just little things I find that don't work, you know, and, and not... And, not, and it's not, it's not just like, oh, it's not wrong. It's different. It's like, no, no, no. There's things that like this software should do that it doesn't. You know, quality of life, you know, workflow, productivity things. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go too far down this this uh, rabbit hole. Uh, I'm gonna try not to talk too much tech with you guys in general, unless you, unless you want me to, because I, I can. I love to do it. But um, but yeah, and uh, that kind of was sort of so, so. There was that. I was also thinking about kind of this whole idea of putting more content on IGTV, which you know. It seems like a little thing, I know, but for me to, 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 to be able to like, to have this kind of plan, I mean, some of you guys know, again, going back to the tech world, some of you guys know that, um, you know, I used to, or yeah, I used to be a, a pretty hardcore software developer, you know, I did a lot of tools development, pipeline, workflow development, content creation tools, all that stuff, if you know what that means, awesome. And so I'm very much an architecture guy, a big picture guy, kind of frameworks and you know, I, I like to know how things, you know, I, I know like, like just from 50,000 feet up what, people, what things look like. And so to finally kind of have an idea of at least how I think my video content can be more impactful is, is, is huge. And, um, and the interesting thing about that is, I don't know if you are, if you are of the internet like me, you've probably heard some of the crazy stuff that's going on with YouTube now and the new, uh, the new little clause they toss in their TOS about, about commercial viability. So, and you know, I'm not saying like Facebook and Instagram aren't going to do something stupid either. I mean, I imagine it's going to be all out censorship warfare running up to the 2020 election, but you know, that's a whole other topic of conversation that, that I'm going to try and get into. You know, I'm not going to talk sociopolitics here, so don't even ask and don't, don't even comment because I'll, I'll, I'll delete any sociopolitical comments. Um, and then the last kind of thing that I was thinking about, if you're still following, is uh, my good friend Jose, that fat man to Batman, great guy, follow him if you're not, uh, said, you know, when I posted the, the week one, uh, no coffee, no carb, November AMA, uh, a couple days ago, you know, he said, hey, you know, it's really cool that you perform these experiments on yourself. You know, I, I think, more, you know, I do that too, and I think more people do, and, you know, that was kind of hard. Like, yeah, I think, I think everybody should. And so the point I'm trying to get to is that you got to use the right tools for the right job. And the only way you're going to know what those are past a certain point is you got to try, you got to get your hands dirty. You know, um, I, I think we do a lot of disservices in a lot of, not just, not just the fitness sphere, but in a lot of spheres where we, we sort of try and spoon feed and handhold people. Um, you know, I, you know, one of the things that's, that, that you hear a lot in fitness or, well, you don't hear it so much, but you see, um, this, this adage that, you know, the, the, the coach who has himself for a client is, 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 is an idiot. I don't agree with that 100%. Um, I, I do think if you have a specific goal in mind and you're not the best person and, and you know, you're not versed in how to do that, yeah, by all means, go find somebody. But, you know, if, you know, for, so for example, for me, like, I, you know, I, I've, I've been coached in strength training. I know how to strength train. I've, I've been to tons of seminars on strength training. I've read more books than, than most people who know exist on strength training. I have a pretty good idea on how to strength train. So, so if I just want to get myself just super fucking strong, like I know how to do it. And you know, uh, this, this kind of dovetails with, uh, I use that word way too much, game changer and dovetail. I use those way too much. Um, but this, this kind of sort of, I guess is corollary to, there's a word I use a lot that I don't mind using. Something uh, my, my buddy Jordan asked, you know, he asked like, hey, what's your training look like these days? And uh, 
I, I, I'll admit I'm kind of committing what's a cardinal sin. I mean, I've sort of Frankenstein a bunch of programs together, but I know what I'm doing. And I know that because I have trained, you know, under people and then trained myself and I looked, you know, looked at those results and basically just done experiments, figured it out. You know, right now I mentioned that, um, you know, I'm doing some pretty, I, I would say like not fat loss protocols that I would recommend to anybody, but, you know, having done a bunch of kind of, you know, weight loss stuff in the past and, and other stuff, I, I, I sort of know what I can and can't do without, you know, gnawing my arm or my leg or whatever off. Um, and, and as I mentioned, you know, I, I've actually picked up some new tools, like I said, like, like saltwater fasting, that's probably something I'm going to always do. Like, I mean, and that's kind of cool because, hey, you should be careful about your electrolytes and, you know, if, and I, I don't know if it's the right kind of magnesium, but, uh, you know, I, I hear that magnesium protects you from EMFs or, or can help kind of mitigate, you know, being around EMS all day. So, hey, that's, that's perfect. So, you know, I understand if you've got a specific goal that you're trying to get to by a certain point. And that, in that case, yeah, there's no room for experimentation. You know, find, find the best way to do it. I mean, that's, that's not the time to, to, to be, I mean, but, but, you know, it kind of goes back to what I'm saying, you know, seek out, you know, what the right tool for that job is. And if, and if the job is, hey, I want to, you know, I, I want to look good for my wedding or I want to, or I need to lower my, 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 you know, I need to lower my, I'm going to say cholesterol, but that's, Okay, whole, whole bad example because yeah, um, speaking of game changers, which I'm not going to, um, but you get you get my point. You get what I'm saying. Um, yeah, and I own too much. I know. Thank you. So I'm not going to do it again. Ha! You get what I'm saying. Either way, it's all about going back to those right tools, and, and on some level, you're going to have to do some some research to figure out what those are. So. You know, this to, to close this out. This is something I, you know, I commented on my, my good friend uh, John Russell's one a post he made, which hopefully I'll see a lot of you folks at his next seminar, his next PPSC in, in a couple weeks in Seattle. But I said, uh, you know, people need to get off of Instagram and into the lab in the library, and you need to do that with yourself too. You know, you need to. You know, and I'm not saying don't use social media. I use social media for tons of my research, but it's just. It's a starting point, you know. Don't be afraid to dive deep, you know. Don't be afraid to get a little, you know, go down a rabbit hole. Don't be afraid to get a little nerdy, you know. I mean, we're talking about you're talking about we're talking about your health and well-being, and I, I would say own that, you know. Take it upon yourself to to figure that out. I mean, honestly, that's that's why I got into mobility. You know, I had a knee sprain years and years ago, and I kind of rehabbed it myself just from stuff I knew and and stuff that I'd read because I'd been going down these these rabbit holes of movement and mobility and, 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 you know, tissue therapy. So, and I, I know that kind of flies in the face of what I said yesterday, which is don't do the stupid things I do, but do the smart things I do. And, uh, and, and honestly, research and experimentation done properly, I think is a very smart thing. So that's what I got for today. Um, yeah, questions, comments, diatribes, hit me up, post in, post in the comments, DM me. Whatever, you know how to get in touch with me. I'm, I'm always around. Cheers.